because many people have asked how in the world I managed to get 82 ranks of pipes into my home, I thought it'd be kind of fun to take people on a organ crawl through the Scott's Fox Chambers. This will be a series of videos and I'm going to start this evening uh, standing in the middle of the foundation chamber, which is one of the two chambers that starts in the basement and extends up 12 feet into the living space of the house. This chamber contains 12 ranks of pipes and one percussion. Four of the 12 ranks of pipes are extended to 16 foot in this chamber. This is the 16 foot diaphone, which is a small scale wood Morton diaphone. You can see that the pipes are mitered. Round the corner, back behind, you can see the top of the stoppers through the reed pipes is the 16 foot Borden, which is a Barton. The large reed pipes here is the 16 foot tuba, an extension of the 8 foot denizen tuba. These are molar pipes. The fourth 16 foot is the 16 foot clarinet and you can just barely see the tops of those pipes. There's a tuning slide of low C through the crystal glot harp. There's some more of them there. They're right next to the 16 foot diaphone. You can see the rest of those pipes in behind the harp. Most of the pipe work in this chamber is on three Barton chests. They're standard chests that Barton used in many of their five and six rank organs. This one happens to be a three rank version and it now contains the violin, Morton violin, tenor C up of the eight foot clarinet in the center, and one of the four voxes in the instrument. This is a Gottfried box, which originally was in a Barton. Also up in this level is a smaller chest that contains the remainder of the violin Celeste that goes with the Morton violin. It's an identical set of pipes, both voiced by Archie March, who was a very famous for doing string work for Morton. In the lower level on the two chests that I'm standing between, this three rank chest contains the eight foot tuba, which is a standard denizen tuba, which is used, used in many Bartons. It's harmonic. In the center is a good old run of the mill eight foot Wurlitzer diapason. That's tenor C. The base end of this diapason is right over here next to the 16 foot two below C and extends on down toward the front of the chamber. The next rank in is kind of an unusual one. I got this from Herman Schlicker. It's actually a Wurlitzer uh, Lieblick flute or Lieblick Gedeck as Wurlitzer had it labeled. It's probably out of a out of a Wurlitzer church organ. I don't know anything more about the history of it. Interestingly, it has a drill stoppers. The hole in these stoppers goes all the way through, which gives it a little bit more of a quinty two and two thirds sound. They're rather attractive pipes, and I feel kind of fortunate to have them. They do play on, on 10 inch wind pressure. You can see that the cutoff is fairly high with an arched mouth and a pretty good size windway. The chest on the other side of the walk board that I'm standing on is a two rank Barton chest. 
and that contains the bottom, the tenor octave that is, of the eight foot clarinet. This is a very large scale molar clarinet. And then it also contains the entire eight foot, what I called orchestral saxophone, which is a denizen reed. This also came out of a Barton. And then of course the all important concert flute. This is a Wurlitzer standard issue concert flute. Stopped bottom octave and a half, which is typical of those stops, and then an open flute. The crystal glott harp, which you've already seen. This is a Morton. All of the tuned percussions in this instrument are Morton. Now, I'm gonna turn around and back out of this chamber I think that the phone will continue to run, <laughs> so pardon the shaking. There. Now you can see a little bit more of the top end of these ranks that I was standing between. Here is the 16-foot clarinet. This 12-note bottom octave I had made by Oregon Supply Industries. Its scale is five and a half inches at 16-foot at, uh, C, which makes it a very large clarinet, much larger than the normal 16-foot clarinet size. This part of the chamber where the entrance door is contains the last three ranks. Against the back wall are the Dulciana and Undamaris. The Dulciana is molar and the Undamaris is wicks. The scrolled pipes are the molar and the dead length with tuning collars are the wicks. And there's the top end of those two ranks. These are all on chests that I built. And the last one is the Concert Flute Celeste, which is also Wurlitzer. It's almost identical to the, the uh, Concert Flute on the main chest. And just before we go out the door is the bottom end, the eight foot end of the Morton violin. That ends video number one.